Hello and welcome to another edition of the Lewis Round F1 Update. So we'll start off with the uh, main story of today, a scheme to turn the Olympic Stadium into a Formula One track. The London Legacy Development Corporation have uh, been saying that their bids will be assessed before any negotiations will begin. They say plans for the Grand Prix circuit were made by the Intelligent Transport Services. There has been a lot of speculation around, uh, around at the moment about London hosting a Grand Prix after the Santander did their little uh, street circuit, which was actually in London, going past famous places, the Parliament, uh, Buckingham Palace, you had the uh, embankment as well. Uh, but that looks a lot less likely. But an Olympic venue, which is very similar to how Russia hosting their Grand Prix in 2014 using the Winter Olympic venue, it could very much uh, work out. And in other news, a few German newspapers have said that the Nürburgring may have hosted its last ever Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton winning last year after overtaking Fernando Alonso around the outside. Brilliant race. Uh, but the Nürburgring Circuit's holding company, which is Nürburgring GmbH, said it's on the verge of insolvency and the European Union has refused to bail out the circuit, as was hoped by the Rhineland uh, Parliament. The firm is believed to be in debt of 413 million euro, while a, while a report from Ernst & Young stating that the value of the facility is only 126 million euro. Reports have suggested that the current seasonal events at the track will stay, there won't be any cancellations, but once that is finished, the circuit will close down. The Nürburgring is not playing host to the German Grand Prix this year, as it has a rotation with the Hockenheim Ring uh, every year. So um, the Nürburgring had run out of contract last time out, and there was negotiations going on. But uh, it looks as though the Nürburgring, the famous circuit, the old Nordschleife, which was uh, 15 kilometers long. Hockenheim as well, they're struggling with funds. Uh, they're not really getting the support the German uh, circuits in recent years. Ever since Michael Schumacher has sort of gone away, it hasn't really been as rosy for the uh, Germans. And McLaren team boss Martin Whitmarsh, he's confident that Lewis Hamilton will sign an agreement. Um, Hamilton had his chances of joining Red Bull thrown out when Webber signed a new year, one-year deal with the Red Bull team. And the only other possibilities are Ferrari and Mercedes. Ferrari a no-go in my point of view. Mercedes, that's all down to whether Michael Schumacher signs a new contract. And even if he doesn't, would Hamilton be tempted to go Mercedes where they haven't won since China? There has been rumours going on about Lotus, uh, where Hamilton was talking to Lotus. But I can't see how that's going to happen either because his wage demands, would he get more from Lotus? I doubt it. And also, they've both uh, Lotus have got contracted uh, drivers for next year in Raikkonen and Grosjean, so Lotus would have to pay one of those drivers, pay off their contracts early. I doubt that those uh, talks would actually progress much further than just initial talks from the management of Hamilton's and Lotus. I'm pretty sure Hamilton would want a clause in his contract, most notably say if uh, a year contract because if the reports are true that Sebastian Vettel moves to Ferrari in 2014 there's a job there's a vacancy open at Red Bull and if McLaren is still struggling at, uh, next year he would be very tempted to a Red Bull move so I wouldn't be surprised if there was a hidden clause in that McLaren contract well that's it for today's F1 update thank you very much for watching back next week with the German Grand Prix having uh, been on in the weekend we'll be talking about that and uh, Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton, they're the next two drivers that everyone's looking at, seeing what they're going to do. These next couple of races are going to be crucial. Stay tuned for more. Check www.lewisroundf1.co.uk as well as Lewis Round F1 on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time.